Hey guys, what is happening? Welcome back to camp. It is a beautiful March, first week of March day. Um, as you can see, I was able to come in and pull my plow. The ice underneath is kind of packed down or it's still there, but you don't slide right down to it because we got a lot more snow in the past uh, two, three days. So I guess, uh, uh, you know, the ice got packed down and anyway, I was able to come in and pull the plow and actually turn around as well. So uh, that's good. I can just drive out. I'm not staying the night here. I just came because it's a beautiful sunny day. And I wanted to prep the camp so next time I come, I can just come and enjoy myself because the last three or four times it's just been not enjoying myself. So um, yeah, I just wanted to come in Set, get everything set up, get wood set up, get, uh, you know, so when I come, I can just go in and uh, uh, start the fire, and that's it. I got my son with me. It's uh, March break here in Quebec, so he's playing around, and we're just going to spend the day here. So uh, maybe I'll give you guys a tour of the camp later or just, you know, an overview. As you can see, the uh, sun here is getting very strong. It's melting the snow on the side of the hill here. Of course, there's a spring coming down, but there's still a lot of snow, but it goes fast. And, uh, you know, it is March, so, you know, once we get into April, then May is the next month. So hopefully uh, we have an early spring so we can uh, open up the pop-up camper and start getting into that. A lot of work to do in there, too, as well, so stay tuned for that. It's hard to believe I spent a couple of nights in here. It was a tent, now it's flattened. Completely broke, it's garbage. Anyway, I have a few videos uh, of me staying in that. And uh, I'm out of breath because I got the camper cleaned off. We're supposed to get rain on Sunday plus 12, so it's going to be mild and rainy, so I want to get all the snow off. Got the picnic table here all cleaned off. Got the uh, fire area shoveled out a bit. Anyway guys, this is where I'll be staying. Uh, this is the outside. <clears throat> it's just about, uh, what, probably 12 by 24 or something like that. Anyway, it's going to do the trick until, uh, you know, the next two months when uh, I can open up the pop-up camper. Uh, in there is going to be uh, much better than the tent. So uh, this will be home for the next two months. See, I got all the wood piled underneath there for uh, protection. And uh, I'll give you a little tour inside. All right, so here we are inside. Uh, 
got the wood set up now. I got bark. I got some birch. I got dry wood. I got kindling. Wood stove is here. Got a nice old rocking chair sitting in front of it. Got my Dutch oven. Got a table here with some stuff, uh, you know, plates and coffee and what have you. All the stuff you need. And I also got a uh, big body heater here. This is where I'm sleeping on this couch. Now, I brought everything with me to leave here because I'm tired of back and forth, back and forth. I used to bring it home and I'm just like, screw it, leave it here. There's no uh, animals in here anyway. And then a nice view outside here. Then come over here. Little table set up for eating breakfast with a beautiful view. All right, guys, just a short video here today. I'm not staying overnight or anything. I just came to set up and clean off the camper and clean off some... Uh, oh, there's my son in the background. <laughs> Sneaking up on me. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. You want to say hi? Hey? Eh? Yes? Say hi. <laughs> anyway. I'm not complaining, but... When you have property, when you have things like a pop-up camper and all kinds of stuff like this, it's so much work. Uh, you know, uh, like NB88, another guy I watch on uh, YouTube, says it's not all beer and barbecue, you know. Even in the summer, there's cutting wood, there's mowing, there's picking up this, picking up that. So, um, anyway, you want to say hi? Say hi. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, where was I, what was I saying? Yeah, so it's a lot of work, but you know, it's nice out here. I'm not complaining, but like I said, today was another day of just shoveling snow, clearing the road, prepping the camp. But next weekend when I come, there's going to be nothing to do except go inside, light a fire, relax, and actually enjoy myself. I want to say hello. All right, guys. I'm, wait, I want to say hello. Oh, no, now it's time to say goodbye. Wait, I want to say something to you. It's time to say goodbye. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Until next time.